Hi folks, today we're talking about continuous functions. And let me first of all mention, don't lose your intuition. A, a continuous function means you, you can draw the graph without any gaps or jumps. You can draw it without lifting up your pen. That's one way of saying it. Well, we're going to use limits to define it more carefully though. We're going to first of all talk about what it means for a function to be continuous at a point. Uh, in this example, this function is continuous at x equals c because first of all, f of c is defined. Secondly, the limit exists as x gets close to c. And thirdly, they're the same. The limit equals the function value. And that's, that's how we define the limit. That's how we define a function to be continuous at x equals a, for example. The limit as x goes to a of f of x has to exist. The function has to be defined there, and they're equal. Now, for doing some of these problems we're going to do here, it's kind of nice to break up into three conditions and look at each one separately. If a function is not continuous at a point, you have to be able to say which of these three conditions is not satisfied. For example, if f of a is undefined, you could have a situation like this maybe, or you could have a vertical asymptote. If the limit is f of f of a doesn't exist, couldn't you have a jump maybe? These are all examples of ways a function can fail to be continuous. Or you could have a vertical asymptote. Or the, here's another example. Couldn't you have the oscillation as x gets close to zero of sine 1 over x? Anyway. Now, the third one is you could also have that the limit doesn't equal the function value. For example, you could have a hole here, but you could have it defined to be some, something else. Okay? Anyway, so we're going um, to look, look at some examples where any, in each problem we're going to state where the function is, is continuous, and for each place where it's not, we're going to state which of the three conditions are not satisfied. Okay, this first one's a polynomial function. So obviously, if you look at the graph, it's continuous at, er, at every real, real number. So since it's continuous at every real number, we say it's, it's continuous on the interval negative infinity to infinity. Okay? Rational function? Well, rational function, you would, uh, you, would, you would say this one isn't continuous at x equal 2. I think you have a vertical asymptote there. However, it is, it is fair to say it's continuous on its domain. Isn't that true? It's continuous everywhere except um, at x equal 2. So you'd say continuous at x not equal 2. All right, now which, what type, uh, what, which of the three conditions has failed here? Is the function defined at 2? No. So it fails the first condition. Let's see. Does the limit exist? No. So it fails the second condition. Obviously, it fails the third one also. Uh, let's, let's go on. In fact, it's hard to find functions that you've learned that aren't continuous on their entire domain. Let, look, at, look at this one. The, the natural log of x plus 1, um, its domain is... Um, is from negative 1 to infinity. Uh, it, it's, it's continuous every, everywhere. Certainly it's not con continuous at negative 1 because it's not even defined there. But it is con continuous on its dom domain. Continuous on negative 1 to infinity. Uh, look at square root of x. That's kind of an inter interesting one. Uh, this function is continuous. Now at 0 we say that it is con continuous at zero. We actually, technically we call it right continuous. Uh, at x equals zero. The reason why we say right continuous, isn't it true that, that the limit only exists from the right and not the left because it's not even defined on the left side? So, but as a convention, we, we do say that it's continuous on its do domain, closed interval zero to infinity, with the convention that it's right, con right con continuous at x equals zero. So it is kind of hard to, to find functions that aren't continuous on their domain. Here's one of the few examples. We looked at the greatest integer function. The domain of the greatest integer function is all reals, right? But it, is it continuous at every real number? The answer is no. It's not continuous. Well, let's say con continuous uh, at as long as x is not equal to an integer. If you wanted to impress your friends, you could say uh, uh, it's, it's con continuous at every real number except the integers. You could write it like that, too. R take away Z, or R minus Z. Real numbers that aren't integers. Anyway, so um, what, what conditions does it fail at x equal 2, for example? Um, would you say f of 2 is defined? 
Yeah, f, f of 2 is defined at equals 2. Uh, would you say the limit exists as x gets close to 2? No, because the left and right limits don't, don't agree, so it fails 2, the second condition. Uh, and, and then if it fails 2, it has to fail 3 also, because there, there, there aren't, uh, the, limit, the limit doesn't exist. It can't equal the function value. Let's do a few more. This one is, if you were to look at the graph of this, actually if you were to factor this one, you would see that there's a hole at x equal 3. The graph of this function looks kind of like this. Okay, it has a hole right there. We, we've seen that. Uh, let's, let's say, so it's continuous at x not equal to 3. Which of the conditions does it fail here? Let's see. Uh, is the function defined there? No, it's a hole. Does a limit exist? Yes, so it doesn't fail too. And the third condition, um, uh, obviously, if, if it's not defined, it, it can't equal the limit. Let's, let's look at this one. This one's almost the same graph, except when x equals 0, we define it to be, th if x equals 3, we define it to be 0. So this, this graph looks, looks almost exactly the same, except when x equals 3, we define it to be 0 there. So here we go. It's not continuous at x equals 3, right? So it's continuous at x except 3. Now, which condition does, does it fail at x equals 3? Is the function defined there? Yeah, it's 0. Does the limit exist? Yeah, at equals 6. Uh, are they equal? No. So this is one that just fails the third condition. Okay, we got a few more minutes left. Let's try these. Here is the same function again, but now we are defining it to be 6 at x equal 3. So here's a function that looks looks like this. And at x equal 3, we actually define it to be 6. Notice this is continuous at every at every point. Negative infinity to infinity. The only question was, although there, there was a hole here, didn't we fill it in per perfectly with, with defining it to be 3 there? So there you go. Alright, we got time for two more, I think. Alright, this one is a piecewise function. Would you agree the only question that's that we have to deal with here is whether it's continuous at x equal 1. So let's, so let's look at x at x equal 1. Because everywhere else it's, it's going to be a linear function, isn't it? It's, it's where they join together where, they, where the issue is. Here we go. Does f of 1 exist? Yeah. By the definition, f of 1 equals 0, right? Alright, the second part. Does the limit exist as x gets close to 1? Well, if x is getting close to 1 from the right, isn't that this case? then isn't it 2x? So what is this limit? Well, what, 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 is, um, what is the limit as x gets close to 1 from the right of 2x? Isn't it 2? And what is the limit as x gets close to 1 from the left of f of x? If x is less than 1, what is this getting close to as x gets close to 1? Isn't this also getting close to 2? So what we can conclude is the limit as x gets close to 1 of f of x exists and equals 2. Now, is it continuous there? No, because um, the function value does not equal the limit, so it fails the third case. It fails this one. Okay, one more. Okay, uh, this one's kind of interesting. Uh, is the or what must a be? A assume a is a positive constant. What must a equal so this function is continuous at one? Well, let's just go through the three con conditions. What is f of one? F of one is this case, doesn't it equal 3? Okay, so we want this function to be continuous. Let's look at the limit as x goes to 1 now. Limit as x goes to 1 from the right, isn't that this one? Um, what is this getting close to as x gets close to 1? Isn't this getting close to 2 plus a? And what is the limit as x gets close to 1 from the left of f of x? Well, that's this one. This is getting close to 3. Right? If you look at this one, so for the limit to exist, doesn't 2 plus a have to equal 3, which means a equals 1, and that, that's, how, that's how it works. Notice, if a equals 1, then, then both of these limits will equal 3, and that will equal a function value. So the answer to the question is that a has to equal 1 for this to be continuous. And for us to be continuous, we have to go now.